Now, last episode didn't quite go to plan, you could say. I was meant to do a bit more, but then something happened. I'm going to tell you a quick little rundown of it right now. To put things simply, I dropped my phone on carpet, mind you. Just a nice, normal carpet, right? I've dropped this thing down mountains into the ocean, in sewers on concrete, screen first, and it's been fine. But I dropped my phone onto the carpet, you see. And then it just didn't turn on. It started flashing green. I plugged it into a PowerPoint, and it turned on when it was on charge, but only half the screen. The bottom half was just white, and the top half of the screen, well, I could still touch it and do things, but it was just flashing green, which isn't quite ideal. And when the phone wasn't plugged on, black, gone, can't use it. So yeah, that wasn't good. Anyways, I took it to a place to get it fixed that same day. $416 later. Oh, I got the LEDs replaced, the screen replaced, and we're functional again. But that wasn't too great. And it did kind of disrupt my editing and filming of the last episode, and... And then it started playing up again, so I'm like, ooh, I don't like that. So I just kind of did a quick little wrap-up of the episode, rendered it, and got it out just in case something happened. Because I didn't want to lose all the footage and just all the stuff from that episode. Anyways, we're doing a lot better now. I'm hoping things are functional. And basically, this episode is just going to be finishing what I didn't get to last episode. Because my phone decided to get stage 4 cancer and have a stroke. But, it's cured now. Went to the phone doctor all as well. We're going to get right into things right now. This is the bush garden. When I first moved my tent after having to move it from the old location, this is one of the first projects I did. This little bush garden. However, nearly a year later and after the floods, this spot just isn't as ideal as I first thought. Yes, it's a good location, but it isn't practical. Which is why I've made a new garden and pond area and there are some stuff that I would like to move over. To put things simply, the bush garden here, it's going today. I'm going to use this as more of an area, and I did kind of touch on this in the last episode, although I still wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this place. But I've decided I'm just going to use this area as an area to dig up dirt for future plants in my new garden over there. I am going to move some things over, like the rocks, the king toast plant, and just some of the decorations I've got here. Some things obviously won't be getting moved, like the tree plants, they'll stay. And I'll probably keep some of the bigger plants. In fact, I might actually just keep all the plants here, because I don't want to risk them dying. They're quite special to me, given to me by my grandparents, so I don't really want to risk losing them. They're growing well here, I think I'll just keep them here. But any of the decorational stuff, logs, that kind of stuff, I think I'm going to move it over to the new spot and I'm going to fully do that new garden area up out of the floodway, it's going to be a lot better. Alright, now I'm going to go on a little just first person walk around this garden. This is going to be our last kind of just walk through before I kind of start taking apart. I'm going to keep the sign here and as I said the tree plant. So that's not going anywhere, these roots are... I wonder if they'll one day grow all the way to the ground. But anyway, I've got the pond plant here, which is... Had an interesting story if you've been watching the series from day one. Or should I say episode 51, because that's when it first came into things. But if we come through, we've got our like kind of main path. This I put in last episode, just to kind of mark this area. But here we've got our different kind of plants. Um, we've got Potty Plant Junior, the Potty Plant, the Regrowth Plant. You may remember those if you've been a long-time fan. We've even got my first ever chili plant. You may remember this if you're an OG viewer of the series. I remember when this thing was growing big and tall and producing chilies. We've got some of our other plants, some rocks from the Canada lands that we got. We've got the King Toast plant from that one famous episode where we had the cloud wars. Coming through here we've got the King Toast gardens. This is where me and King Toast worked that one time on this little garden. You can't really see the words anymore, but it does say the King Toast Gardens. I'm going to keep that sign there until it eventually just decays away. But as you can see, you've got remnants of plants given to me by my grandparents in here. We've used to have marigolds and stuff and capsicum growing through here, but I think they died off. 
Unfortunately, we've got our little log area with all these lovely plants growing up here and some more in the tree. And coming around here, you remember I put this little piece of hessian up when I had the moss and the other plants growing here to keep it alive. And it seems our moss is actually quite thriving under there still, but unfortunately the mountain plants we got from the Canada lands didn't make it. Now, you remember this is our pond area, or was, but it just never quite worked, but we've got little spiky cactus plants around it. It was a good little spot while I had it. And then, of course, coming through here, I did want to make this an archway once, but it just didn't work out, is the awesome tree from when we went on our bush maze walk. I honestly am still surprised this thing is alive to this day, and I can't wait to continue watching it grow as the time goes on. So that's pretty much the whole garden tour. I've enjoyed having this place, it's been fun. It's always sad to see something go. Especially such an early project that this was. But I do think it's for the best. And it's gonna make this place feel a lot more better over in the new pond area as it does feel a bit lacking. So I think this is the best decision here I could make. So I'm gonna get to work on tearing it up. No time was wasted as I stood foot into the old garden for the last time, admiring the beauty of the vines and plants growing over the logs. It actually felt really sad to have this place go. This place had been here now almost a year, and while it never quite lived up to the potential I had hoped for, and I knew the new garden was better, it was still sad to start pulling this one apart and see it go. All right, all the logs that I need are right here. And I'm gonna use them to make myself a little pathway coming up here into the dining area. I think that'll look quite nice. And then any leftover, I'll see what I can do. But I'm quite excited to see what I can come up with here. So let's get into it. And so I got to work putting together the path outline. Here has been done connecting up to the dining area. I think it's a nice little outline. And over time, as I walk through here, the ground will just naturally wear down. And I'm not done here just yet. There are a few small little things, especially around this area. It's just very dull and mud-like at the moment. I do want to change that. Originally, I was going to get some grass seeds, but uh, rats got into them. But I'm going to get some other few decorations from over there. And over time, this area should, um, at this rate, get covered in pumpkins. But we'll see what happens with that. But over time, this area should grow up to be a lot nicer than just the mud pit. And yeah, that's where the waiting game comes in. There's a leaf on my moss, so I don't like that. And so I headed on to what was left of the old garden to move the rocks that I had there and make a new pile over by the Pagoda's Mountain. I've got to say, it's quite the fitting spot. But it made me stop and think about memories long gone. A present that is now past. As I walked around this place, I saw lots of little throwbacks to what used to be of this place, and it did make me a bit sad. It made me think about what was once, and now that is gone. And well, obviously, things have changed down here a lot. You work on something for nearly two years, and you look back at when you first started, it does have a completely different vibe, and there's just small little things here and there that I don't use anymore, but they're still here and remind me of those times back when I first started the series. And it's come a long way since then, it really has. It's quite remarkable. This series went from a small little dirt patch with a few logs that I thought was going to be some kind of log cabin for some reason, which never happened. Um, but it's crazy to think it went from that to a full-blown little campsite down in the bush Something I never really envisioned. My plans for this project, they changed a lot over the months I've been doing this. And it's crazy to think that my final idea for this place is one tent away from being complete. And it's just kind of nostalgic, I guess, looking back at just little things here and there around the camp that kind of just throw me back to those first few episodes. It's quite nice. And yes, for those who are wondering, the lean-to is... It's stand... I don't even know. It's still standing. I don't even know how. 
Now, I know a lot of the viewers nowadays haven't really gone and seen the entire series, so there's some references you guys won't understand, but there's one I do want to talk about because I was just thinking about it and it made it... I, I know, it was funny. I remember I found this old coffee I'd just let sit in my bag on accident because I forgot about it, and I opened it down here in the bush and it stunk out the entire bush. That stuff was bad. That was, that was horrendous. I hated that. That was actually... That, it, it stunk so bad. I think that was episode 27. That was horrible. However, that does mark the pond area for now. I'd say relatively complete. I'm satisfied. However, while I stand here and get bit by mosquitoes, there's something I do want to address. Now, I don't usually like bringing my personal dramas into these videos, but unfortunately, a recent event has given me no choice. There's a mosquito on my finger. Ow. But if you don't know, I've got a Discord server. And last night, a bunch of people who I used to call friends who are no more decided to act incredibly immature and be complete, to put it lightly, idiots. And if you're watching this, grow up, um, decided to start spamming inappropriate pictures, inappropriate comments in the Discord chat, and saying really inappropriate stuff that I don't really want to get into, and I am apologise for those who had to witness that, who are in the Discord. Um, they're banned now, and I'm working a lot more on the security, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. But seriously, I, I really, I really apologise for that. These people, they're just completely immature. And seriously, if you are watching this, just grow up. Get a life. It, it's ridiculous, it really is. But that's, a, that's what I'm going to touch on with that, I just... Felt like I kind of had to bring it up to those poor people who had to witness that entire thing in the Discord server that just want to chill and hang out there. And ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. But moving on from that, um, hopefully they grow up, but you never know. Um, that's pretty much going to be the end for today's video. Um, apart from that annoying little bit there, I just have to talk about at the end. I'm going to say things have been going pretty well lately. And I am ready to get on to the final project down here in the bush. Oh yeah, I just want to quickly point out any inappropriate comments on this video. And any of you start commenting inappropriate stuff, uh, your comments will be deleted and you will be blocked. Just keep that in mind. Don't like saying those things, but in light of recent events, I have been given no choice. I want this to be a safe and calm community, not one full of chaos and idiots. So, sometimes I do have to, at these talks, put my foot down and say this kind of things to make sure this is the safest community possible. I want this to be a getaway, not a place causing trouble like other places can be. But anyways, enough of that boring talk, I guess. It's just a bit annoying. The next project, or should I say the final project for down here. Now, I've been dropping a few little hints, you know it's involving the chest that I have in my side tent here. And I'm actually going to reveal what the project is right now. You may know over the course of the series I've had some trouble with storage. This was my first little storage box. And I got this, but it gets wet in there. And I thought, why not have a place far back from everything else because the water comes through here when it floods. Because, you know, I want to have nice, I want to keep my stuff relatively nice down here, best I can. I need a good storage place. So over where, at my birthday bush bash, the, one of my friends nearly died falling off a tree because it fell down. Um, I'm actually going to be using that area now to make a storage tent, a place I can store my stuff away from the flood water, nice, dry, and safe. Now, if you don't know, this used to actually be the martial arts pit area. Um, not really anymore. I actually... For those who are wondering, I don't do karate anymore. I have recently stopped. I guess I just lost interest and wanted to move on to other things. There's just other things interest to me now. Um, when I started it, I was into all that stuff. That was like what I was into at the time. Uh, but you know, you grow up. That was two years ago and it just doesn't really interest me as much as it did. But yeah, I still picked up a lot of good stuff from it, self-defense techniques, fighting techniques that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. That's always going to be engraved in my brain. There's, unfortunately, a lot of bad people out there, so I keep that stuff in my brain. It's, it's always there should the need arise. But yeah, the martial arts pit, I used it occasionally. I made a few videos on my second channel. 
But yeah, I'm gonna be moving on with it and making a storage tent here to store my stuff. That will be the final project I do down here in the bush. I'm hoping that's a good... It's, it's not the end of the series, it's just the end of me really building stuff. But I hope that it's interesting. And I'll see you guys for that final project. Subscribe!